We're joined by General Manager of Football, Tom Harley, for this week's HCF Injury Update. Now, Tom, a relatively quiet weekend on the injury front compared to the weekend before? Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, um, touch wood uh, at this stage on the Tuesday post-game, we've got through relatively unscathed, uh, which is a good thing. Um, I guess Jake Lloyd was went into the game under injury cloud and he got subbed out just after three-quarter time, as much as anything because he had a limited um, week leading into the Geelong game. He actually played really well. Um, so we're able to uh, put Dean Towers into the game and take Jake off, but he's recovered well up to this point in time, and we expect him to be available for selection against the Hawks. So uh, other than that, um, things are tracking reasonably well, touch wood. It seemed from the outer that there was a physical game against mm. Geelong. Um, how did the boys in general and the, the general playing group um, pull up? Yeah, really well, and it was a physical game. I think you'd expect that when uh, two top four combatants from the previous year go go at it and uh, they've got some really good inside contested ball players led by their captain Joel Selwood and uh, Benny McGlynn had a, had a really good game head to head with Joel um, but it was a competitive game and I think when you look into that and uh, the way you recover becomes really important certainly in the early parts of the week and, uh, um, but we've been able to manage that well uh, had a good hit out this afternoon Tuesday afternoon um, in readiness for another good hit out um, full ground on Thursday morning and then uh, obviously head down to Melbourne to take on the Hawks. How is Isaac Heaney uh, tracking in his recovery from his PCL? Yeah look he's tracking really well. Um, I guess Isaac being a first year player take a really uh, cautious approach um, but uh, he's actually started some Alter G running hopefully this week, the back end of this week and um, you know we're not going to take any risks with him, we're certainly in no hurry to rush him back into the team but um, early stages he's been really diligent with his recovery and, and our medical team have been working on him really diligently as well so um, we'd expect to see Isaac uh, uh, ready and match ready uh, pretty soon. Now Lloyd Paris underwent an arthroscope to clean up uh, some issues mm. uh, with that knee. Is he back on track? Yeah, he is. I mean, Lloyd uh, has had a wretched run, uh, as we've commented a couple of times in this segment. Um, and the operation went well, and it's just a rehab situation for him at the moment. So um, the Neef will have a bye this week, so he's got another week where he doesn't miss a game per se. Um, but obviously, uh, it's a, it's a, we have a plan in place, but we'll tick, just tick it by week by week at this point in time, and we all are really looking forward to seeing Lloyd have a fair run at it um, for the back end of the year. It's not a, it's not a season-ending injury by any stretch of the imagination. He'll be able to get plenty of football in the back half of the year. Up against the Hawks on Saturday, as you mentioned, um, a lot of talk surrounding the game. Uh, is there an air of excitement around the club? Um, there certainly seems to be in the, through the hallways, talking to a few of the players. Yeah, look, I think it's um, like there was the week before um, when we played Geelong and the week couple of weeks prior to that when we played Hawthorne, uh, played Fremantle, those big games are, are, are what players play for. I certainly remember from my playing days it was always exciting, but I think John Longmire hit the nail on the head. Um, you know, replays don't exist unless the grand final's been drawn, so um, this week it's certainly a, a really good opposition um, down in Melbourne and uh, we can control what we can control and make sure that we do that. and give ourselves the best possible chance to play well and succeed on Saturday night. That's that's the focus. The fact that it's against Hawthorne, the fact that it's the two grand finalists playing off again isn't necessarily all that relevant. But um, you know, these guys are proud competitors and when you're playing against one of the better sides at the, the I guess the the ground where the finals are played, um, you can't help but get excited by that.